Hi, I'm Brent Johnson, and today I'm at Visitation Parish. We're in Kansas City, uh, Missouri. A lot of people don't know that Kansas City is actually in Missouri. Right. I found this out a few years ago when the World <laughs> Series was here, and people were confused, but we are. Kansas City's in Kansas, too, and this is Alejandro Manso. He's the uh, director of music here at uh, Visitation, and we're here to talk about this organ. Uh, this is a lively Fulcher instrument from 2004, correct? correct. And right. it's had a little bit of work since then. It has, yeah. So it's been revoiced by Hal Gober. Yes. Uh, to give it a, a nice, wonderful tone, and I'm anxious to hear it. Um, Great. The first thing I notice about it, it's got a lot of French names on here. It does have a lot of French names on here. And so um, <laughs> it's really interesting when different uh, organists will come in here. Um, it'll be, well, first of all, the layout too it's, yeah, is very much. Terrace side jams here, very uh, French. Very re reminiscent of French uh, organ console work. And um, so there'll be some a learning curve for some people because of the layout and because of the names for sure. We have three manuals, but as you were telling me earlier, it's kind of a two-manual organ with an ex some extra keys. In a very keys. practical <laughs> way, yeah, it's, it's really uh, the Rassi middle division and uh, the, bum uh, the great division, the grand org, on the lowest, okay. and then the top is a bum the bombard. I have a bombard on Okay, but it just has really just a few stops, a solo. Exactly, sort of okay. exactly. Well, let's just start with the uh, with the grand org right here on the bottom. All right. Um, it's all out here in this lovely facade, and I see we have... Uh, I guess that's the, the mantra. Yes. Is that what we call it here in the front, 16 yes, and 8? Let's that's hear, right. Let me hear those stops first. All right. You want to pull together or you want to? Let's start with the 8 foot. 8 foot, okay. So. Yeah, very nice, very smooth not too aggressive yeah and a fantastic acoustic in this room i have to say it's a really great place to make music for <laughs> sure especially for even choral singing as well or for any type of singing or music making i don't see any soft surfaces anywhere everything <laughs> is tile and clay so yeah wonderful yeah it was intentional for sure okay what does that sound like then with the 16 underneath is that an extension of the same style yes okay. it is Now, hoping that, or at least assuming, we're going to stay within this French aesthetic, I want to hear some of the other eight-foot stops to see if we have that good swath of symphonic color yes. that, that French organs are known for, or at least French-inspired organs. Would you like to hear the gamba? Yeah, let's go next to the gamba. All right. You can use that as a nice little solo stop if, if you wanted to. Yeah, okay. Let's keep going across. We have a flute harmonique. This happens to be one of my, my favorite, one of my favorite stops on this on this instrument. Sweet sound on the top, oh. um, and uh, even with the with the tremolo on, it can make for a beautiful solo stop there. Oh, okay, and one more eight foot. We have the Borden. Yeah, so I'm hearing stops that are all about the same volume level, yes. but all of them different colors, <laughs> as we would expect a good French design to, to emulate. So I guess you can mix and match those in any combination. Absolutely, right? absolutely. Um, I typically, yeah, we have a lot of eight foots, as you notice there. Um, so it can get a little heavy there, but it really makes well for congregational singing, too, in, oh, within sure. the context of, of worship, too. Okay. So. Well, let's um, look at our, then our principal course as it goes up, adding the prestant to the mantra. And yes. Both of those together. Yes, and then there's a two foot. Yeah. Lit. And 
finally a, what is it, furniture? Five yeah, pack. the mixture here. Goes on top. Which is great. Starting to see how you could use all of that eight foot to help support all of that brightness Abs on that mixture. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big sound there. I need to use that mixture more often, actually. Yeah. Um, sometimes I'm a little too scared to put that much sound <laughs> in the room and, uh, you know, almost uh, keep people from wanting to get into the, the singing. Well, but um, it's really effective, though. Yeah, it sounds like it works really well in here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then even to go with that, we now have a trumpet at eight foot. Yes. Now, uh, this trumpet has not been, uh, I think it's been, uh, actually, I think that one's been left alone uh, since, since we have the instrument. It's a really full trumpet sound. the trumpet by itself just to see what um, because it sounds like it's a nice big French sound yeah definitely yeah, that's probably the one we use, you know, for fanfare stuff. Uh, but also when we get to the bombard, that's another uh, okay. read option that works well for that. <laughs> and then one more color read there in the grate. The clarinet, yeah. This is a newer stop for this instrument, actually, um, with Hal Gober's work. And um, it had, uh, I think, a clarion initially. And um, there wasn't too much variation between, it was a four-foot clarion and there wasn't too much variation from the eight foot trumpet. Okay. So this gave us a new, new, color, a new color to really work with. It's a really warm sound. Kind of gives you that idea of a French crumb horn, but at the same time can be a nice solo clarinet absolutely. if you need against the swell. I'm exactly, sure. absolutely. Well, uh, speaking of the swell, let's come over here and look All at right. this. This is a large division. Um, and uh, tell me what we've got over here. All right. Well, um, we have uh, more strings here on this on this side of the instrument here. We do have a, a mixture, a uh, four ink mixture. We do have another um, trumpet, eight foot trumpet. And uh, and uh, bassoon uh, and oboe, okay. and um, a few principal stops as well. Diapason. Okay. Well, let's start with that diapason and hear how it compares to the great mantra. Really, really Very smooth, smooth sweet sound. sound. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a little brighter than the great, but it's yes. a little softer too. So that's it's, right. It's, that's it's, right. It's, okay. Um, and again, we have a plethora of eight-foot stops. Yes. In here, let's keep <laughs> going. Next, uh, we have our flute chamonade. It's not about the same volume level as the, the diapers. Right. And once again, we're keeping all our eight foot, <laughs> you know, blend, blendable there. Okay, and then we have our string, our eight foot uh, viol. Much 
much thinner and brighter sound. Yes, there. <laughs> absolutely. Right, and it comes with a Celeste. Right. Let's hear how that's. So that's all under expression. This whole stop, and I forgot to mention that, is all under expression. So we use those two stops a lot oh, for sure. um, moments within the liturgy. Let's close that down. Here, let me hear how how soft can it get. effective okay that's all of our eight foots yes and now we have our four foot press time to go with our uh, eight foot diapason let's hear it by itself Nice bright sound, but mm -hmm. it's not not overwhelming. Okay, and then I see we have uh, a lot of flutes here, a lot yes. of uh, mutations here. Um, starting first with our f uh, four foot flute octaviante. foot chamonet with us. Let's continue bringing on our cornet here. We next is a two and two mm -hmm. thirds Nazar. Yes. Keep going up with a two foot octavon. And lastly, a tierce, one and three fifths. Lovely, all of those blend together. None of them very loud, but they all <laughs> blend together. Wonderful. We skipped over the fact we do have a 16-foot yes, do Gordon down there, so let's add that to the bottom of that line and see what it sounds like. Again, very gentle, yeah, nothing, nothing real. Um, jumping at us. Let's just do the 16, 8, and 4, and 2 by themselves just to hear the flute chorus. Yeah, nice little chorus there. All right, um, and we still have one more stop we haven't talked about in the flues, and that's our plongeu. We have the mixture that's four ranks. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Let's turn on the 16, the diapason, the four foot, the. I'm going to do the two foot next, and then the mixture. Great. And tell me how that sounds. Another bright, full mixture yeah, there. That's a great absolutely. sound. It's great. Um, so I, it fills the room really well without overwhelming it. So 
Okay. Um, tell me about the reeds we have in this division. All right. We have 16-foot bassoon, mm -hmm. the trumpet harmonique, 8-foot, okay. and 8-foot uh, oboe at bassoon. Now, are the, bassoon at oboe. Yeah. Are the 16 and 8, are they a unit? Or are they the same? They the same are stuff? different. Okay. So you actually have three different ranks in there? Correct. Um, yes. All right. Well, let's let's start with one of those. All right. You want to hear them as a solo line? Let's, yeah, solo? let's hear each Sorry, of them. Sorry, I took in, those off. That's fine. Let's hear each of those independently. Okay, so if you remember the eight foot trumpet on the grate um, had a really present sound. Mm -hmm. This is going to sound a little different, uh, it's going to be a little mellower. Okay. Darker, warmer yes, sound. Yes, exactly. All right. And then uh, the eight foot bassoon at Obois. Yeah, lovely. Yes. Okay. And let's hear the 16 there, the bassoon All right. by itself last. It's a big sound down there. Okay. And that's uh, pretty much everything in the, the race. Either. Absolutely, okay. yes. Well, we have, um, I believe, only just four independent ranks in the pedal, but of course they're borrowed as units. Right. Um, so uh, tell me what we, what we have down All here. All right. Yeah. Well, um, okay. So we have in the reed department a 32 foot contra bombard. All right. Then we have the 16 and then the 8 foot okay. uh, as, as one rank there. The bassoon we have here, I believe, is shared from this the, one, yeah, yeah, the, the receipt division, okay. yes. Um, this is prepared, actually, which is not even, uh, this 32-foot contra subas mm -hmm. is, uh, is actually, I think meant, it was meant to be a digital uh, stop at one time when they were building this instrument to uh, probably because they didn't have the space, perhaps the budget <laughs> for that matter, I don't know. Um, so that doesn't exist. So there's a, there's potential it's there a, for something. It's a someday. Donors. We've thought about there's, there's what potential there what could be there. <laughs> Sixteen foot uh, gross flute, um, which I believe is on its own. Uh, Sixteen uh, foot with the, the mantra from mantra from the uh, the great, and then the subas. Uh, Sixteen foot, uh, I think is on on its own as well. Okay. Let's try the 16 gross flute and see where it. Big dark shake the room <laughs> sound there. <laughs> it is. I am actually very mindful of the synthetic vibrations that happen in the space <laughs> at a certain time of the liturgy. If I and if I need to pull that or not pull that. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Certain pitches. Uh, and then going up, we have the 16 foot subas. A little more gentle sound. It there. is, yes. And then a 16 foot Borden, which I assume is the same as the. Yes, as well, it should be, Borden. yeah. Softer. Yeah. And then Mantra, Flute, and Borden all borrowed from there, and Prestant and Flute, Overt. Um, and then that Correct. takes us to our reeds. Let's hear the reeds. Let's hear that. All right. Want we'll to start with the, uh, the 8 foot, the 16? Yeah, let's just take the 8 foot and come down right. into the 32.
add the 16 or? Uh, just keep coming down. All right. All right, let's add the 32 to that and see what we get. A lot of sound down there. Affect <laughs> more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's the pedal. Uh, we still have a few more stops that live on the Bombard manual, which is the top manual. Yes. Um, tell me what stops we have there. So probably the biggest stop is going to be the Bombard, Bombard stop. Uh, excuse me, the tuba stop. The tuba. Okay. Um, a four foot, an eight foot, and a sixteen foot. So it's a unit that plays at all three pitches. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And then we do have a cornet mm -hmm. on this oh, okay. uh, division as well. Um, we have a few borrowed stops, uh, flute stops, um, from the Rassi division, okay. four foot flute octaviante. There we go. And the corps de nuit. And the corps de nuit, we decided, came out of the uh, board. And that's correct. So you have a stopped foot, stopped eight foot and an open correct. foot there. Correct. Okay. And then um, what's really interesting is that there is a Wahiman on this uh, on this division here on this uh, Rassi, or excuse me, on the Bombard. Um, that was initially prepared as uh, it was it was not there when we first received the instrument. Um, it was not built into it. Uh, I think it was envisioned for. Um, it wasn't envisioned for that. I'm trying to remember what the <laughs> stop it was. Our pastor here is a big French organ buff, and he really wanted the voix humaine. <laughs> and so uh, we need to use it more here, actually. He was like, are, we, are you using that voix humaine? So um, <laughs> sometimes we're not always quite sure the best way liturgically to use it, but there's a lot of opportunity oh, there. Sure. So, um, so we have that now, which was not original to the instrument. And that's, that's really it. So we have really uh, the tuba, and then we have the cornet and then the voix humaine. Well, let's hear the tuba. I want to hear All right. What that so starting like at here. the f four foot. Big piercing reed. Let's hear it. At, <laughs> let's hear it at eight foot. And then that goes all the way down to 16? Yes. You want to, you want to hear it just yeah, all? Let's hear all three yeah. of them together. Okay. A big sound, but not overly aggressive or, or too bright. It's it's just got a nice. Yes, it off. has been mellowed down a little <laughs> bit actually from that. From uh, that's mellowed down version of it. So. All right. Well, on the other end of the dynamic spectrum, let's hear the voix humaine now. All right.
That's also um, under expression. That's what I was going to ask. What does it sound like then when you close it down? Good appropriate tremolo there to go yeah. with it. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and, and our last stop in the bombard is a five rank cornet. Now, does that span the entire compass of the keyboard, or is it? It doesn't. Okay, where does it start and stop? Um, so I think the G. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So G, and then it should go all the way. Excuse me. It should go all the way up. Okay. All right. So from tenor G up, that's a big cornet. Play a little in the middle of it. Just all right. Hear a little melody. It's a, it's a big, bright sound, really and I assume is. that could even be added to the tuba to give it more brightness if you want it to be a little more fiery. Let's hear it. Yeah. All right. So, and I see we can couple the uh, bombard to the grate. Correct. And we, we have this cornet over here in the racy, so you have two, you know, dialoguing cornets if you want. You can put it with the grate to make it even bigger. You can use the grate to accompany all of that. So a lot of flexibility. By yes. Just putting those few stops on their own. Absolutely. Division. Absolutely. Getting into the organ is fairly simple. There's two doors on either side of the case. As we go in, we, um, well, we first see that there is a switch to turn off the Vahumain tremulant because it's always on when you turn on the stop. So in order to tune it, you have to turn that off. Here we are underneath. There's lots of winding. The wind chest for some of the facade. 32 foot reeds along the back. Seems there's a back for the bench that's removable. More of our pedal stops, and you can see lots of very nice wooden wind trunks there. There's the 32 foot contra bombard, the gross flute back behind it, and then the swell unit chests are above our head, the back of the swell box there. And lots of very nice wind lines here made from wood with nice curves to avoid any sharp angles. Back here we have some of the 16 foot pipes of the pedal reed. Then there's a ladder that takes us up into the rest of the organ where all the pipes are. Right here next to us though is a pedal chest. We can see the slider motors for those stops. We've come up the ladder, and we are here among pedal pipes. That's the Bombard 16. I believe the gross flute behind it. Some things tucked way back in the corners there. There's some of the pedal principle. division. Our mounted cornet there from the bombard. We have 
our 8 foot mantra. 16 foot mantra. The 8 foot borden. An 8 foot solutional. 4 foot press tent. The 4 foot flute of yurt. The 2 foot. And the mixtures next to that. Our trumpet and our clarinet that used to be a clarion initially. Continuing back, we see the other side of the pedal division. As well as a ladder going down to the area below, mirroring the area we came in. I believe this is the tuba here on the side. That's divided between either side of the great chest. Here is the swell box behind us. There are panels so that you can quickly access the reeds. You have to reach through three sets of reeds to get to all of them. And opening the door, we can step into the choir. There's a guide here for the temperament that was used for tuning this organ. the previous iteration of the swell motor, but here's what works the swell shades now on the outside of the box. <clears throat> Back here on the side of uh, the swell box, there is one more door and it accesses some of the uh, base pipes here that are offset. And one can almost fit back in there. You can also reach the low end of the reeds. And now we're back down on the floor underneath, stepping back out into the choir loft. And now here's the door on the other side. Excess more winding under here, more other side of the pedal pipes in the 32. Pipes, and then there's a ladder that you can take all the way up to the top of the uh, swell box should you be able to fit back there. A lot of very cleverly built wind lines in here. And there's the other ladder to go up.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tour through the 2004 uh, Lively Fulcher here at Visitation Paris in Kansas City. Um, we're going to stick around in Kansas City for at least one more place and maybe a couple more. Uh, we've enjoyed our stay here and this has been a wonderful trip. Uh, thank you, Alejandro, for uh, demonstrating. You're not the main organist here, but you are the music director. That's correct. That's so this correct. is not your everyday job, so thank you for stepping in and oh, filling absolutely. in. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. And, uh... You know, more and more, I get comfortable with this instrument. Well, it's a it's it's a lot of fun. I've enjoyed getting to know it, uh, and I would you know love to come back and spend some more time playing it. So maybe someday in the future. For now, we're going to move on. Uh, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this, then please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe so you can see more of our stops here in Kansas City. Uh, until our next video is out, though, you can always find streaming classical organ music on our three stations: OrganLive.com, Positively Baroque, and the Organ Experience. Thank you again, Alejandro. It was My great pleasure. meeting you. I'm Brent Johnson. Talk to you soon.